What is going on guys, Greggles TV. This is the Galaxy Note 8 running the Microsoft Launcher. The Microsoft Launcher can be downloaded by anybody on Android. Just go to the Google Play Store and search Microsoft Launcher. Now I wanted to show this because when you buy a Galaxy Note 8 or S8 or S8 Plus from the Microsoft Store, it'll come pre-installed the Microsoft Launcher. So I wanted to show you kind of what you can get. And it's also a pretty cool launcher at that. Now let's just go over really quick what you have here. So by default at the top you have the search bar and you also have right here if you click that you can uh, scan a barcode or a QR code which is awesome. It's very rare to have that built into the launcher. You also have voice search. You have the time and the date and then to the right here you have the weather and you can add other cities as you if you want as well but that's where I am right now in San Diego California 78 degrees that is no joke 78 degrees here it's crazy and then I've already set up my home screens to say how I really want them and have all my folders set up and you can change that and we'll go into the settings just to show you and then also it does come with this Microsoft folder which if you want it gives you links to download those apps you just hit the green button and you can download those apps. I generally don't use any of these apps on my phone. Occasionally I'll use the Xbox app and sometimes Skype and sometimes OneDrive, but generally I don't use any of those apps. So that's why it's kind of like that. But I wanted to show you uh, what you get when you have those apps. And then when you look in the folders for the apps, this is what it looks like. And then at the bottom here, you have your uh, dock which is a regular doc, you know, nothing special. But what makes it special is that if you swipe up, you have other apps in here. You can add more apps in here or change these apps, remove them if you want. But ultimately, you know, swiping up and down from the bottom, you do have these and you have some quick toggles as well, such as airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, flashlight, and uh, you can lock the orientation of your screen. So really cool, innovative. Oh, you can also change the brightness as well. Uh, with your display if you need to uh, right from the bottom there without having to go directly into the settings of the phone. Now if you want to bring up the settings, there is a settings button that's generally on the screen. I just removed it, but if you want to get to it, just press and hold like you would on any launcher and go into launcher settings. Now inside of launcher settings, at the top here you can do some quick stuff. Change the wallpaper, support us, uh, tips and help, and then system settings. System settings would be your general uh, Samsung settings if you need them. You also have accounts in here. You can So you can sync up um, your Microsoft accounts and some other accounts as well if you need to. Backup and restore. So if you want to back up your Microsoft launcher, it'll back up your display settings, icon packs, and app folders. Or you can restore from one. So you just tap it. This will replace your earlier backup with a new backup. Would you like to continue? Just hit backup. And as long as you're logged into your Microsoft account, it'll do that backup for you. And it's, you can see right here, it's asking me what I want to uh, remember as my backup. It's only 5.36 megabytes of data. I'm going to hit backup now. And that's great because, you know, some launchers, and a lot of launchers have backups. Um, but this one is easy. You know, you don't really have to do much. Just make sure you're logged into an account and it'll back up. You can see backup successful. So if my if my phone died or if, you know, I switched phones or whatever the reason, I can always restore my launcher settings to that. So I like that. Customization. Let's go in here. Now you can customize quite a bit of things. So you can go into theme and you can change some of the stuff here. You can make uh, like the backgrounds transparent or you can use it light. You can see, or dark. I like it transparent just because it ends up using whatever my picture is. You can change the op opacity. Uh, accent colors, The also you can apply accent colors to headers. And that's pretty much it for that, for themes. Also, you can customize app and icon layout. So in here, if you want to, you can change the icon size uh, to be bigger or smaller or larger. And then also you can change the icon packs. So if you download icon packs uh, from the Google Play Store, so, you know any icon packs, uh, you can change the icons on your launcher. So this is something different. You cannot do that on the regular Google Pixel uh, launcher or just the regular Google launcher. So I love that that you can do that on the Microsoft 
uh, one. And you can do that in a lot of other launchers, but we're just talking about the Microsoft one today. Also, you can change the grid dimension. So if you want to change um, how many apps go across the screen, I have five by five, and that's kind of what I like. It's I think it's the perfect size, but you can make it bigger or smaller. You could have you know five by seven or whatever you want. You can also do auto. Uh, that is it for that. So let's go back here. And you also can hide app and folder names. So if you don't want to have app and folder names, you can completely remove that so that they don't show. You also have vertical scrolling, scroll up or down to view your apps and widgets. Uh, keep page reminder so it'll remember what page you're on uh, for your uh, app launcher. Keep the status bar on or off. Notification badges on or off. That's going to be, you know, giving you notification badges would be like, oh, you have a notification for this. You have seven notifications or whatever. Um, lock screen, lock, lock the home screen. So if you want to make sure that the lock screens don't get deleted or messed up, whatever that, that will lock those into place. Uh, you can do, you can hide apps in here. So if you want to hide apps so no one can see them, you can do that. And also has high performance one, which is what I have on, which means it kind of reduces the animations. I don't need big animations. I want my phone to feel extremely fast. So that's why I have high performance mode. It just reduces animations. Next, you got your feed, and your feed is going to be when you swipe over from uh, the left to the right, and it will give you kind of like what the Google Launcher does. This gives you some news and things like that, and you can customize what you have here. You can go into news interests and uncheck certain things, like I unchecked politics and education, so it should only show me other news stories. Um, you got your news market, and you can choose the language for that. You can also change some default apps in here, such as uh, your SMS app. You can change your dialer app to be something different. Tap your avatar to call back. Show text messages in preview. Show pin contact suggestions. So you get quite a few easily accessible options. You know, sometimes I like Nova Launcher, but sometimes the I don't feel like the settings are completely transparent in terms of where things should be compared to where they actually are. Uh, then you got gestures. So if you're into gestures, it has that stuff, same stuff as Nova Launcher. Again, this is, it's just, it's simple to find this stuff on the Microsoft Launcher. You can double tap just to lock the screen. And I think I can change that. So I could tap it. Yeah. So I could, I can change it to, if I double tap, instead of it locking the screen, I could maybe have it open a certain app, you know, stuff like that. And you can't do that. You don't get that much customization on the, uh, Google Pixel, um, launcher but you do on here which is cool and then every other you know pinch in pinch out you can have it do different things uh search i was really surprised by this this is a microsoft launcher i really didn't think you'd be able to change the search engine you can actually choose between bing google and yahoo that is really cool to see i chose google i love google's search engine more so than bing's default browser setting you can change that i have mine set to google instead of the uh, samsung one uh copy to keep Clipboard, if you, those QR codes always show search bar, you can turn that on or off. Search result filters, you can, you know, have it search for certain things. Search it because when you're searching up there, I'll show you, but it will search for apps or people or everything. You can turn some of that stuff off. Uh, what else do we got? Turn on search history, delete search history. Let's go back here. Uh, general settings. So in general settings, you can change the language. You can use a 24-hour format. I, I don't like that because in America, we generally don't use that. We kind of use AM and PM. So that's what I'm used to. You can restart the launcher if you're having issues with it. And then the other one's just about. And it's just going to give you some things that you can you know, help improve. I'll turn that off. Did I turn it off? There you go. Turned it off. But you can uh, also check for updates, I guess, if you want. And it's telling you. But it'll, that'll, the, up, the app itself will automatically update through the Play Store. So you shouldn't have to do that. But that is the settings of the launcher. Now let's talk about when you go to search here, you can search for different things. Such as, so say I'm looking for Facebook. It's going to show me Facebook. So I can do a couple things. I can either click it here, tap it here if it's an app. Or if I have anybody else named Facebook, I can do that and get to those people Let's just type Facebook and I'll show you. It'll bring me to the Google search. And there you go. Searches Facebook, not the Bing search engine. Now, one of the things I wish I could change about this launcher is when I swipe up, I wish it would bring up the apps. It doesn't do that. You have to tap uh, the apps button right here and it brings up all your apps. Not a huge deal, but it's something that I wish that I could change. Now, you can search for your apps up here. Say you're looking for, oh, what's that? 
file explorer and it'll bring up anything that has the word file in it. Oops, I spelled it wrong. So it'll bring up anything. So you can search really quickly. It's real smooth, no issues when you search for certain apps. And then you can also, you can see right here, you can use the Rolodex and tap. It kind of picks a few letters at a time for you to look through, but it's quick. You know, I don't see, there's no, you don't, you can see that I don't have any issues with um, just scrolling through the apps on here. It's very smooth. So the Volancher, you know, overall, it's pretty great. I love the customization of it. It's really easy to navigate the settings. It's free. You can change the search if you want to. You don't have to use uh, Bing, even though it's a Microsoft launcher. Um, you can easily download, because they set it up for you, any Microsoft apps if you want. I'm not a big you know, fan of these. Some, hey, Word, Excel, you know, Swift Key, they're all great apps. I just don't generally use them, so I don't need them. But overall, great launcher, guys. I would definitely recommend trying it out at the very least to see if it's something that you like. If you're a fan of the Pixel Launcher, but you want a little bit more customization, but you don't want to have to search through a million settings, but you want some customization, I think the Microsoft Launcher is right up your alley and can offer that kind of customization that you'll be searching for. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question to you is, which launcher do you use? And what do you think about the Microsoft Launcher? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the road. Peace.